I was watching one of Cody Wano's videos and I realized that in almost every one of his videos, he introduces himself, talks about what he's doing, says something like, My name's Cody Wanner. I'm an action-oriented person. And it made me realize that I don't actually do something like that. In fact, if you just watch one of my videos, you don't really know who I am or what I do. Anyway, what we're talking about today is actually a software that you can edit your raw photos with. Now, a bit of backstory. I started with the Nikon D3300 and I used to shoot raw with that camera because I could use the Nikon XD or whatever it was, the Nikon software in order to edit my raw photos. But when I switched over to Canon, I could never find something that was really that good for editing raw photos. I liked using the Nikon software and I thought it worked really well, but I didn't have anything like that for my Canon and I couldn't import my CR2 files into my Nikon program, so I was kind of stuck. And then I started shooting in JPEGs, and since then, for the past pretty much two and a half years, I pretty much exclusively shot JPEGs. Any edited photos I've done have been edited JPEG photos. But recently I haven't been very happy with the quality of those JPEGs, especially putting them through something like Snapseed. They always seem a little bit soft. They never seem as nice of quality as a lot of the other thumbnails around the YouTube community. But I never found something that I either didn't have to pay a large sum of money right out or pay a subscription to a program that I'm not really going to be using that much. And so I've been looking on the internet and I finally found something and it's the Canon Digital Professional software, the Digital Professional 4. I tried to use the software when I first got the M50, but it didn't support the CR3 files. But now in this latest search to find a CR3 editor, I realized that Canon has now updated the Digital Professional 4 so that we can now edit the CR3 files. Now, of course, this is not something like Lightroom. It's basically a raw photo processor. It's not really uh, a top-down amazing editor, but it will allow you to get that extra raw latitude out of your raw photos And I really wanted to help get this out that you can now edit raw photos Without having to pay for Lightroom or another program and you don't have to do it online It's something you can download on your computer now first of all what you want to do is you want to go into your search engine and type in Canon digital photo professional for download and you want to click on Canon's official website to the download page. And then at, what I had to do is I had to enter in the serial number of my M50. You will find that on the bottom of your camera. You enter that in and then download the file and then just put it on your computer. It's as simple as that. And then when you put your memory card or if you have them in a folder, you just activate Photo Professional 4. You go find that folder. You just search for the photo you want to edit, click on it, hit the edit tab, it opens up where you can edit that photo, and it's as simple as that. Now I haven't played around with this much, and I don't know exactly what you can do with it. If you guys know any good tutorials on how to use this software, let me know down in the comment section. Or if you know how to use it, please like make a video showing how you really do good edits with the photo professional software. Also, if you have any suggestions for alternatives to this software that are either free or cheap or even good ones that you have to pay for, let me know. I want to find something that's like really good for editing photos because as I get more into Instagram and YouTube, I'm seeing that I need to be doing a better job with my photos, not just my videos. So let me know what would be another good software I know Adobe. I know Adobe's a good software. You don't have to tell me. You you can tell me Adobe, but you don't have to. But if you're just someone like me who just wants to get that extra latitude out of those raw photos, then download the Canon Digital Professional. I, it's not actually free. You actually paid for it. Basically, it's included in the cost of the camera. You already should own this. And now that it supports the CR3 files, it's really worth it to get and I mean, unless you're using Lightroom already, which, yeah, totally fine. I have no problem with it. I just don't want to pay for it, at least not right now. I really hope that someone found this video helpful. If you did, please give me a like, subscribe to the channel for more content like this, and hopefully better content than this. I'll see you all in the next video.